Why aren't people making more scary spider movies? These things are great. I go right for the big two, Arachnophobia and Eight-Legged Freaks. But now, I think I can add Sting to that list. Now, I really wasn't honestly expecting to like this movie as much as I did, but all in all, I enjoyed it. I thought this was great. Now, it's not perfect. I have my issues with it, which I'll explain later in the video, but overall, I had fun with this movie. In Sting, we have this little asteroid that goes shooting through space and goes crashing through this rundown apartment window, which lands into a dollhouse, and this girl Charlotte finds it. And inside of it hatches this alien spider. For all intents and purposes, it looks like a black widow, but we know it's an alien spider. She decides she wants to keep it as a pet, takes it home, starts feeding it, realizing the more she feeds it, the bigger it grows, to the point where it's gotten so large, now it's eating people. And the way this movie's done, it just gives you this strong late 80s, early 90s vibe to it, and it's really campy. And I say that in a good way, because I love campy movies, and this one, it feels like Eight-Legged Freaks or Sharknado, where it's not accidental. It is purposely made knowing that it's this is a campy movie. This is just the way it was designed, and they play on it really well. And the best part about it is they use as little CGI as possible. Now, you can see where they use it, because obviously it's going to be hard training a little tiny spider to do what you want it to do. So they're going to use some CGI there. But it's done really well. It's not. It doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. But when you get to where the spider is bigger, they use a lot of robotics and animatronics. You can see that old school robotic puppeteering going on. And that plays into the campiness, which I absolutely love. But there's something about seeing a physical spider, a creature right there in the actor's face that just brings it to life. I enjoyed it so much. This movie plays on several different levels of scary. And I, I, I say scary loosely, I'll say more creepy. Some stuff might kind of gross you out, especially if you have a fear of spiders. Especially the little one. The little one gets, you know, you get that little tiny thing crawling around and you get creeped out when something goes in your ear or your mouth or, or it touches you in a way that, you know, you get the shivers. So that's one kind of scary, but then you got a whole different level of scary when the thing's the size of a car and there's just giant fangs and legs coming at you. Then it's like monster scary. So there's, they play on multiple different levels here, which is really nice. And all of the kill scenes may not be super unique. They are pretty cool to see because they'll do some typical spider things where he hits you with the web and draws you in, or maybe he gives you a bite and paralyzes you, things like that. I mean, we may have seen it before, but this does it just slightly differently. It's entertaining. There is some tonal issues with it, though. And it's kind of up and down. And what I mean by that is it wants to be a scary, campy movie. But then we're introducing this family dynamic where the girl is living with her mother and her stepfather. And the stepfather is trying to be a real good dad, but he's having a hard time doing it. And there's this headbutting going on inside the household. So in that regard, I feel like it was misplaced. I could have done with that. If we had just done a regular family, I think it would have been different. We didn't need the whole mixed family dynamic in there. It just, for me, that didn't work. It tried to be a different movie when they were dealing with that and then the horror movie when we're dealing with the spider. But luckily when we were dealing with things that were related to the spider, it was so good that I didn't I didn't even mind the family thing. I just kind of like let it roll off and like, yeah, whatever, it's there. Now, the characters in the movie were hit or miss as well. I loved Charlotte. She did a fantastic job with this character. The dad did pretty well. I mean, there were a couple spots where I was like, ah, he kind of took me out of it. And then there were other tenants throughout this rundown slumlord building that I just didn't feel any attachment to at all. You kind of knew they were there just for spider bait, which was totally fine. Let them be spider food. That can be, you know, it's whatever. I did like this old lady though that was in there. I found her entertaining. She's senile. I guess she's got dementia. 
And, you know, she's just totally oblivious to everything that's going on around her. And I found her kind of funny. So I found out to be one of the few characters that drew my interest in. The other would have been Fred the Exterminator. He added a whole level of comedy to this. And I thought was just classic. He adds to the campy and the comedy. And I thought he was a perfect fit to this movie. But getting back to the movie itself... There are some really cool elements in here that I enjoyed, and one of which was this girl who's trying to make a pet out of this alien spider, and almost to the point where she's realizing it's smart, almost like dog-level smart, where she's trying to train it and get it to do things. But it's is she training it, or is it training her? This is where the question comes into play, because as it gets bigger and bigger, you wonder, is she going to be able to get its attention and get it to stop or do something or go away or have it listen to her or is it training her to be food so then you start to wonder and i love that aspect of things because it's different it's it adds to the campiness but then you couple that with the cinematography which i thought was really really good it really captured that campy 80s 90s vibe so overall i had a great time with this movie was it perfect? No, it wasn't. And I think there are definitely some areas that need improvement. But I think if this is your kind of thing, if you enjoyed Arachnophobia, you enjoyed Eight-Legged Freaks, heck, you enjoyed Sharknado, those kind of movies, that's what this is. Only difference is we have one spider rather than infestation of them. But let me know in the comments what you thought of Sting. Please hit that like button and subscribe button on your way out if you haven't already. And I'll see you at the concession stands.